everybody knew that Puff took Tupac blueprint and changed Bigs and Bad Boy in image. I get around. I get around, talked about how fly you was, how many girls you mess with, how many cars you drive, how much money you got, what you willing to do. He took his image. Pac was the first one on the scene wearing Versace shirts. He went and got the same Versace shirts Pac had. Which, all right, some dudes would do that. You would never catch me wearing something else, something that somebody else got. He was knocking down all the women that he thought Pac was knocking down. And what I mean is having sex with him. Why would you want to have sex with women you know for sure a dude that was once cool with you was dealing with? That's that image. Because you got to realize, bro, Puff and Pac was cool at one time. We know this. Mo Prem said, that they was going to sign the bad boy. So if he's going to sign to bad boy, it was because of Corey and them. I put that picture on the internet. I put the picture on my channel of Corey Jones. Uh, is Corey Jones, Corey Jacobs? I think Corey Jacobs and Pop right next to each other. Those was the real bad boys of bad boy. You understand? Those are the ones who got the 16, 9, 16 of life sentences that Pac was going to go and be with them first. But then Mo Prem said, when it became just big and puff because Corey then went to jail, he changed his direction. But nobody know why Pac and Puff fell out like they did. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody know why. But Puff had an obsession with him for whatever reason it was because he started wanting to act. He started wanting to rap. He had an obsession so bad <laughs> that at his Grammy Award winning speech, he used the same speech that Pac used. That shit is crazy. So when I say I'm obsessed with talking about Puff and telling y'all the truth, Telling y'all the truth? Who's obsessed with who? Pac had Sarah before Puff. Allegedly, he had Sally before Puff. And Kim had an obsession or liked Pac so much, she on a red carpet with Tupac's shirt. On. Who's obsessed with who? <laughs> so you believe Diddy, he only got with Sarah Chapman because Pac, he had her at one point. And it was a bet in the office. Sarah was messing with an NBA basketball player. Puff bet all the niggas didn't believe that he could get it within two weeks. $100. So she actually was a $100 bet that he got. And who was the NBA player? Uh, I think it was Gary Payton, allegedly. That's what he said. She, somebody said, she messed with Gary Payton? I bet you I get it. I bet you I have it within two weeks. Me and him and Sarah was, went to this party in Chicago that he was hosting with the streets entertainment and we went to the store called Cranberry and I forgot Cranberry and it's one of those stores like you get fragrance fragrance and you get candles, colognes and stuff like that. It's called Cranberry and something. And um 
from that point on, you had her. But you got to realize, you got to realize, Misa and Kim was friends. He took Misa, he took, Misa and Kim was friends. He started dealing with Kim over Misa. Kim and Sarah was friends. I mean, hand-to-hand pots and pans. They was close. They all used to, Sarah, Kim, and this other girl. I think she was from Atlanta. What's her name? Uh, it, it, it missed me right now. But they all used to hang together. So then he went from Kim to Sarah. And he liked to do the friend thing. It looked like that. 